Hi, I'm Yuri Stansky and I'll demo OpenStack to OpenStack content migration tools. In this demo specifically, we'll be looking at uh, resources that you would migrate before migrating VMs. So we'll be looking at uh, networks, subnets, routers, and security groups. So the tooling is uh, an Ansible collection. So here we see all the parameters that we will feed in. Uh, the, there's uh, authentication parameters, and there's a source tenant and destination tenant. Typically, those would point to different clouds, uh, but here for the demo purposes, I just uh, point to two different tenants within the same cloud. Um, from the tooling perspective, it, that shouldn't matter because it's just connecting to whatever credentials we give it. Uh, and then in the second part there, there are parameters uh, for selecting uh, like where to store the data and, and uh, what resources do we want to migrate. So there's the data path and uh, regular expression filters for names of all the resources that we'll be migrating. And we'll be migrating all new resources which start with the OSM underscore string. So um, we are in this directory, so we'll create the data directory for saving our resources. And just for convenience, we will export the uh, path to the collection uh, as, an, as a variable. So let's see what networks we have here. We have the OSM net in the source cloud. Uh, and some other networks. And in the destination cloud, we don't have the OSM net. So that's the one we'll be migrating. Um, and we start the playbook. We feed the param parameters and we start the playbook to export the networks. In this case, just the OSM net network. And we'll see the networks.yaml is created and the data about the network is, is there. So now we can start a playbook to import the network into the destination cloud. And we list the networks in the destination cloud again and we see the OSM network was created. So for subnets, we don't have any OSM subnets there. But in the source cloud, we do have two of them, OSM subnet and OSM router subnet. So we'll be exporting and importing those. So again, we feed in the parameters, the localhost inventory, which says that we are exporting the resources onto the machine where we're running the playbook. And there's subnets file, which appeared. And here are the subnet parameters. So we can import those subnets. So again, we f use the localhost inventory, feed in the parameters and run the import subnets playbook. It's going to connect, connect to the destination cloud and create the subnets there. So if we list the subnets in the destination cloud, we can see that uh, the OSM subnet and OSM router subnet have been created and we can look what network they've, uh, the OSM subnet has been created on and look at the name of that network. And it's the OSM net network we've, which we've created earlier. So we are preserving the, um, the connections by, by name. So we see in the destination cloud, we have no routers, but in the source cloud, we do have routers and we want to export that OSM router. Again, according to the filter, the regular expression filter that we specified before. So we have it exported. And we will separately export the router interfaces on the private networks. And we can look at the serialization of the router and at the router interfaces as well. 
and we see uh, specifically for the router interfaces that the uh, 192.168.10.10 uh, uh, address was uh, saved on the router subnet and uh, 0.10 uh, address was saved on the OSM subnet. So the migration process, it preserves uh, the uh, internal IPs for a router. So we will see that when we recreate the router on the other side, uh, well, right now it uh, doesn't have these private interfaces yet, but we will now import the router interfaces. And when, when it's done, we will see that uh, they are matching the IP addresses. So now we see the YAML serialization of the source. There's the 0 0.10 and 10.10 .10 interfaces. And if we look at the routers in the destination, you will see the OSM router has been created. And if we look at the serialization again, we'll see the 10.10 .10 and 0 0.10 addresses have been created in the destination as well. So the IP addressing schema uh, can be preserved this way when migrating. In terms of security groups, we only have the default one in the destination cloud and in the source cloud. We also have an OSM security group. So that's the one we want to migrate. So again, same thing. Uh, so we export the security group and we export the security group rules. Same way. So then we can look at the files again and the security group and security group rules files appeared. So this is how the security group is serialized and the rules. So we see all of the rules are there. And now we run the import playbooks, both for security groups and then for the security group rules. And we can see that the OSM security group is in the destination cloud and its rules are there too. So we've migrated networks, subnets, routers, and security groups. And that's it for this demo. Thank you for your attention. Bye.